everyone, happy Children's Book Week! My name's Chelsea and I'm here at Knox Library and I'm going to be doing a review for one of the shortlisted titles this year. And this one is called Dry to Dry and it's by Pamela Freeman and Liz Annerley and it's all about the seasons of Kakadu. This book was shortlisted for the Eve Palinal Award and it's a really cool book because it tells the story of how all the seasons change the land in Kakadu and it also has lots of information in it. So it's kind of like a story picture book, but also a cool nonfiction book all into one really cool book. What I love about it is it has some beautiful art. I'm just going to show you one page so you can see what I mean. It has some gorgeous, colorful art that shows you all of the beautiful colors in Australia. And it teaches you all about the changes that the plants and animals and land go through year to year. It has a lovely map of Kakadu in the back and lots of cool facts. So if you're someone who's into learning about our land and about Australia or about animals, you'll probably absolutely love this book just like I did. Lots of learning to be had and I hope you enjoy reading it. Today I'm going to be doing a review of one of my favourite books that was shortlisted this year. This one is Asta's Good Right Things. It's written by the wonderful Kate Gordon uh, and it was shortlisted by the Children's Book Council of Australia for Book of the Year for Younger Readers. Now this book is all about a young girl called Asta and she has lots and lots of worries and anxieties about the world and moving through the world and who she is. She's also contending with some pretty tricky stuff at home because her mum left her family recently and so she's learning how to deal with that. One of the things that happens is Asta's brain tells her that she has to do at least one good right thing every day. So she has to do a good kind favour for someone every day, otherwise they might not like her anymore. What I love about this book is it's a bit sad, but it's also really uplifting and heartwarming and it's really accepting as well. So it teaches us that everyone is having their own struggles even though they might look absolutely fine on the outside. I've just got a quick quote from the book to read for you now because I absolutely love it uh, and it might make you want to read it as well. It says this, I can't let go of them the good right things, especially because if I do, I'll turn into a cloud and I'll float away and a storm will come and blow me to nothing. The good right things are the most important. One day people will notice that I'm doing them. One day people will see what I do and they will see me and then they will like me, or at least they will stop leaving me. So it's a bit sad, but you can see it's super, super beautiful and 100% worth the read. I would absolutely recommend it to anyone who is interested. I hope you enjoy reading it and we'd love to know what you thought if you do. We'll see you next time. Bye.